Synchronizing your directory in AWS with Identity as a Service. To define the synchronization with an AWS directory, first the AD connector must be downloaded. Select Gateways. In the Gateways menu, click the AD connector button to download the AD connector zip file. Once the file downloads, we can define the gateway. Click the plus. Click the AD connector option. Enter a meaningful name for the AWS AD connector. Add the AD gateway. Back on the gateways page, now notice the new AD connector gateway is listed. Click add member to define our AWS directory. Provide a meaningful name for the AWS directory. The gateway will be added and the application ID, host name, and shared secret is shown. Ensure you download this file by clicking on download. If you close this window before saving a copy, you will need to regenerate the secret. Once the download completes, you can close the window. Returning to the gateways page, the AWS directory gateway is now defined. Copy the zip file downloaded earlier and the JSON file we just created to your AWS instance hosting your directory and unzip the contents of the AD connector folder and run the executable. The AD connector setup window will appear. Agree to the license terms and conditions and click install. The wizard opens. Click next. Identify where to install the connector. Click Install. Select Start IntelliTrust AD Connector Setup Tool and click Finish. The installation completes. The AD Synchronization Settings window appears. This is where we paste the information from the JSON file we copied earlier. Open that file and copy the contents. Click Paste JSON and paste in the information from the file. The tenant information, application information, and shared secret are presented. If this ever needs to be changed, it can be regenerated at IDAS and then pasted in here. Click the test connection to test the connection. The directory can now be defined. Click the directories tile. To define the connection to your AWS directory, select the plus to add a directory. From the list, select AD Connector Directory. Enter the information to define the new directory. Directory name, enter a unique meaningful name for this directory. AD Connector Application. From the dropdown, select the application we just defined. In the Connection Settings section, provide the username and password for the directory administration account. Click Add to add the directory server host name. Type the host name and port for the server hosting the directory. Click Add to add the directory host. Next, the search base must be defined. In the domain naming context, identify the search base in the directory where the users are listed. The user attribute mappings must be reviewed and the synchronization options can be set including which groups to synchronize and what to do when a user is desynchronized. Save the directory settings by clicking Save. The new directory will be listed. The synchronization is automatic so there is no synchronization icon. Returning to the dashboard, in the dashboard notice the user count is increased indicating that users were imported and we now have one directory defined. Notice the Sync Users tile is also now completed. Click Users to view the imported users. The users imported are listed with their source of directory. Please see our library of support content or contact our world-class support team any time of day, no matter where you are, for more immediate assistance.